What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to make continuous text boxes in Adobe InDesign. So if you've ever read a newspaper or a magazine, you know that the text is spread throughout the page using columns. So if you read the text in one column, it eventually stops and then it continues to another column which may be way up here or maybe way down there. But either way, the text is continued throughout the page or the page spread. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today in InDesign. So what I have here is a poster. It's just a fake poster for the New York Giants, my team. And I also have a Word document open here. And this is the list of the 2023 New York Giants roster. These are all the players. I didn't specify any jersey numbers, but these are all the players listed in alphabetical order by last name. And we're gonna put these names into this poster. But this is a long list, so it takes up two pages of this Microsoft Word document. And if we make a small text box inside of Adobe InDesign, all of those names aren't gonna fit in just that one text box. So we gotta have that text being continued into another text box within our poster design. So the first thing that we're gonna do is create columns. So when we create a column, we want to divide this poster into four equal pieces. And at the same time, you'll be creating a gap in between each text box so that way it kind of gets evenly spaced while also being divided into four equal parts. So let's go up here to layout and we're going to go to margins and columns and then this window pops up. So the margin section we're not going to mess with because it focuses on this pink line you see right here towards the edge of the document. It's kind of asking us how far do we want that pink line to be from the edge of the document. We're not going to be messing with that today, but we'll just be going over here to columns. Right now it's at one column. As you can see, there's one big column right here that takes up pretty much the entire document, but we want to divide this into four equal parts. So in this section, we're going to type in four and then four evenly spaced columns will pop up on our document. And then this next section here that says gutter, that's gonna be the distance between each column. So we can adjust that to make the distance even wider or have it being somewhat narrow. That's really up to you, but I'm gonna leave it at one. And then once you're satisfied with your changes, we're gonna hit okay. And like I said, we got four evenly spaced columns with equal distance from each other. So that way there won't be text kind of being smashed into each other because we don't want that. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our text tool, which is right here at the letter T. And we're gonna create a text box anywhere on our screen. So let's go to our first column and we're gonna click and drag anywhere to start our text box. Okay, and now we're free to type whatever we wanna type. But since this is a poster that we're making, we are gonna open our Word document again. We're gonna hit Command A to select them all, Command C to copy, and then going back to InDesign, we're gonna hit Command V to paste. And then I already have the text styles defined, so I'm gonna hit Command A again, and then hit my text style that I defined prior to making this video. And now the text is white so you guys can see that better. But as you can see, the roster only goes up to Davis down here. And when you take a look at our document again, there's more names on this list. So when you're designing pretty much anything on InDesign, InDesign lets you know that there's text that still needs to be shown within this text box. And that's indicated with this little icon down here. It's a white square with a red border and a plus sign in the middle. So to make a continuous text box, we're gonna click that square and now our cursor will have some text that's hanging off of it. And that's prompting you to create a whole nother text box anywhere else in the document. So I'm gonna take my cursor and create a whole nother text box in the second column. And to do that, all you gotta do is simply click anywhere, click. And now more of the roster is shown, but there are more names that still need to be shown because like I said, this is in alphabetical order and in our document so far, it's only up to the L's. So let's perform our same step again to this text box. So click this square. It's gonna be text hanging off of our cursor, so all you gotta do is click anywhere else in the document. More text is shown, but it's not the full roster yet again. So we gotta click this box again. And click. And there we go, that's the rest of the roster. And now all the text that's in these text boxes are pretty much a continuous text box. 
So remember how earlier that there was a white circle with a red border and a red plus sign inside of it? This time it's a white square with a blue border and sort of like a, a play button inside of it. That means from this box, it continues to another text box that could be somewhere else in your document. But in my case, it's right here, right next to it to keep things simple. But since this is a roster, it is also considered a list. And with that, you can click any piece of text in one of these text boxes, hit Command A to select all of them, and they'll all be selected. And with any list comes bullet points. And I'm gonna show you how to add bullet points in InDesign. So let's go all the way up to the top where it says type. And then we're gonna go to bulleted and numbered lists. And then we can say apply bullets or apply numbers. If you wanna apply symboled bullets like a dot and a dot and a dot, that's where you can hit apply bullets. But if you wanna apply a numbered list like one, two, three, that's when you hit apply numbers. So let's hit apply bullets. And now we have a bulleted list. So let me select all of them again. Go back up here to type, bulleted and numbered lists, and I'm gonna hit apply numbers. And there we go, we got a numbered list of New York Giants football players. But if you wanna get rid of those bullets, you can hit command A again, go back to type, bulleted and numbered lists, and just hit remove simple but all in all that's about it that's how you create continued text boxes in adobe indesign so if you liked the video or if you found it useful give it a like and a comment subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and i'll see you in my next video